Hi there, this is Srikanth Sari. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to uh, look into uh, the arithmetic operators in C++. Uh, uh, the arithmetic operators uh, work in a very uh, similar way as it uh, does in C programming language. Uh, since we are uh, uh, learning uh, C++ from the very uh, basic uh, ground level, so uh, we are intending uh, to look uh, at it uh, once. Okay. So first, let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a Visual Studio uh, 2012 Express here. Okay, it has got launched. So first, let me create a new project from find new project. Let's say empty project, and let's say let's name our uh, project as Arithmetic Operators. Arithmetic Operators. Okay. So somewhat reasonable name here. So first, let me check my empty space in C drive. Okay. So the Visual Studio uh, has created a project structure here. So with all the uh, empty folders, uh, since we have selected the option for empty project here. So the source files, uh, let me create a new uh, a CPP file. So where we need to uh, write our code. Uh, let's say rith.cpp, somewhat relevant name here, okay. So first let me add all the basic things like header files. So hash include, uh, the first one is going to be iOS string. Okay. Second one, hash include coin over dotage, console input output dotage. Okay. So, until since uh, next, we are going to uh, have a namespace, so which is very essential in standard C. Now let's, let's write the main function. Okay. And let's add our uh, get ch. So get ch, uh, normal get ch will not work in uh, advanced uh, IDEs like Visual Studio. So we need to have an underscore at the beginning here. So as such that uh, the get ch function works here. So if we run this small, tiny little program. Uh, so you get the console window uh, with nothing. I am just uh, increasing the font here uh, to 36 and also I'm just changing the color uh, to somewhat uh, look, uh, to make a different look here. Okay. Okay, so I have just changed the background color and increased the font here, okay. So now, uh, here our intention is to learn about uh, the various arithmetic operators in C++. So the various arithmetic operators uh, in either, uh, in any programming language like C, C++ or Java are going to be like this. The first one is plus, which is used for addition. So let me write that in a comment here, okay. The second one is minus, which is minus symbol which is used for difference to calculate the difference between the two uh, operators uh, difference or uh, uh, subtraction or subtraction operator the next is asterisk which is used to find uh, the product okay the product or uh, multiplication uh, result uh, to multiply two numbers the next we have a slash to find out the uh, quotient okay so all these things are very basic mathematic things which we need to learn uh, to do some calculations and build some expressions okay so what is an expression the expression is nothing but it's a combination of operators and operands okay so here an operand is nothing but a variable again okay so next we have uh, percentile which is used to yield the, the reminder okay so these are the basic uh, arithmetic operators of uh, c or c plus or any programming language they are very quite common Okay, so first let us have, uh, so next let us take two variables here, I am taking here i var 1 and i and two integer variables to just to demonstrate the various arithmetic operations. So i var 1 and i var 2, I have taken two uh, integer variables and let's just, let me have a small steward statement here and let's say, the, just for understanding purpose, let's say the various so arithmetic operations first let me go to uh, full screen also here so as we have more room here so first uh, the various arithmetic operations on uh, let's close our uh, co statement and let's say i var 1 and let's again close yes we are using co statement it's quite difficult <laughs> To write all the contemporary extraction and insertion operators. So here we have a small statement and it's also uh, we should never forget to assign some value 
let's do it at the very beginning only. Let's have 10 and 20. Or else let's make it uh, 20 and 10. Here, okay. So here we have taken two variables, uh, iVar1 and iVar2, and we have just assigned two values to it, uh, one is 20 and 10, and we have just had a uh, message such that the various arithmetic operations which we are going to perform uh, as shown here. Okay. So if you run this tiny little operation uh, program by pressing the F5 here, since we are in full screen, so you get nothing but just that message displayed here. Okay. The various arithmetic operations are 20 and 10, uh, which we are going to do uh, in a second. Okay, so let's run once again. You have just that message here. Okay, so now uh, let's take another variable. Uh, let's say i sum here. Okay, so here just I have taken another variable uh, named i sum. So what I'm going to assign to this variable is the addition of the two integer variables we have taken previously here. Okay, the sum of two integer variables. To do that, we need to use that uh, arithmetic operator or the uh, that operator plus to do that uh, operation here, okay. So here I am saying again i var one, so plus i var, so i var two here, okay. So we have just uh, taken two variables and we have assigned some values to it, and we have just um, uh, built an expression here. So as we have learned that the expression, um, so let's write a comment here. Let's say arithmetic expression to yield sum of two integer variables okay so although it's quite a simple uh, statement a mathematical statement uh, behind the scenes it yields uh, the sum of two integer variables and stores that result in another integer which is something okay so this is the sole purpose of that variable and here we have used this arithmetic operator uh, and built an expression uh, to calculate the sum of these two uh, integer variables okay so let's use our uh, COD statement um, to print out uh, the, the result or the sum of the, the, those two variables here, okay. COD slash and slash t and let's say the sum of, yeah, let's close this or else you can say the sum of, uh, the sum is equal to directly since we have taken the values at the very beginning uh, in the arithmetic operations on i 1 and i 2 at the very beginning here okay let's say the sum is equal to um, i sum here okay that's the variable we have we are storing uh, the sum of these two variables okay so we run this tiny little program get the sum as 30 okay so the arithmetic operation performed on these two variables uh, uh, 20 and 30 uh, 20 and 10 sorry the sum is 20 here, okay so in the same way uh, to be more specific uh, let's say here uh, Let's say here i where 1 is equal to, okay. so i where 1 is equal to i where 1 and uh, I'll also say i where 2, so i where 2 is equal to, okay. so i where 1, uh, 20 and i where 2 is 10, okay. to, to, to be more specific there, okay. so again uh, let's take another variable, let's say uh, i sub here, okay. So I have taken another variable, I am saying it as i sub and now I wanted to calculate the difference between the, those two uh, integer variables here, okay. So i where 1 minus i where 2, okay. So I have taken another variable uh, i sub uh, and I have just used the, that arithmetic operator uh, minus symbol to, to, to calculate the difference between those two integers here, okay. So again if you use your contemporary uh, CL statement and uh, print out uh, the difference like this, the difference uh, between the difference between uh, the difference between or else the difference is equal to you can say uh, i sub okay. So now if you run your uh, application, um, so you get the difference as 10 between uh, 10, 20 and 10 the difference is 10 here okay. So in the same way, uh, so you can take another variable uh, as far as many as variables uh, you need to complete all those different uh, arithmetic operations using those operators here, okay. So again you can take uh, imul, okay. So let's say uh, imul is equal to, so i var 1 uh, aspect, uh, i var 2 here, okay. So again you can have the same uh, contemporary co statement, slash and slash t, uh, the product, you can say the product is equal to, close that statement and you can say imul here, okay. 
So again, in the same way, you can take another variable um, for uh, quotient. You can say I co. So whatever the silly name you can have to it, and you can say I co is equal to I where one uh, divided by I where two here. Okay. So I where one uh, divided by I where two. Okay. So again, you can have this contemporary uh, COD statement, and you can say the quotient. The quotient is equal to um, so i i co yeah okay so in the same way uh, you can have uh, uh, another uh, integer variable let's say i rem so you can say uh, so i rem is equal to so i where one uh, percentile uh, i where two here okay so I have just used this arithmetic operator uh, percentile to yield the reminder. Okay, the, the reminder of the operation performed on those two integers. So we are going to look at that here. Okay, so let's say uh, so I rem is equal to so I where one. Uh, so already we have done it. Uh, let's just print it out using this COD statement slash and slash t. The reminder is equal to let's say I rem here. Okay. So we have done with all our arithmetic operations. If you run this tiny little program, so you get all those the basic arithmetic operations. We have built a mini console calculator here. Okay, <laughs> so if you want, you can take the input from the keyboard using your uh, contemporary uh, CN statement, and you can uh, grab some input uh, from the user. So let's do that also. Okay, so instead of uh, assigning the values directly uh, using to this to have some more convenience. Uh, let's say that uh, let's take uh, the input from okay let's say that uh, and see what's statement here so enter the values let's say enter the values for uh, so i where one uh, and i where two okay so i have just uh, made a co statement i am using the scene statement uh, to grab the input from the user so i where one and i where i where two and now let me run the program so it asks for two different values and let's say uh, one and two very silly values so you get all the uh, various uh, results of arithmetic operations performed on those uh, variables here okay so also you can say uh, quite a huge values also you can say 60 and 65 you get all those uh, different different values uh, for your uh, arithmetic various arithmetic operations on those particular integers here okay so to summarize once again uh, so here we have taken two variables and we have performed all the arithmetic operations using those particular symbol which denotes the particular operation here the plus symbol denotes the addition operation and the minus symbol or the blank or the hyphen or dash represents the difference and the asterisk we are very familiar with uh, defines the product of two variables and the quotient and the slash uh, yields the quotient and the percentile symbol yields the reminder okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, the arithmetic operators in c++ so see you in the next lesson goodbye